Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I finally got my Birchbox. It came this morning. Um, I got an email from Birchbox last Friday saying that it had been shipped on Friday um, along with the tracking number. And I just think it was kind of excessive. Um, it going out on a Friday and then getting to me on a Friday. It seems like a really long time. Um, I know it comes U.S. Postal Service, and they're usually not that slow. I mean, I can mail things and people get them within three or four days. So to me, I just feel like if it was mailed on Friday, it was out Sunday, I mean, uh, Saturday, there is no mail, you know, Sunday, so I always discount that day. But Monday, Tuesday, I think it should have been here, like Wednesday at the latest Thursday, and it got here today. So I'm just like really, I don't know, annoyed. Maybe I'm just being impatient, um, but I'm just annoyed. I don't know. Anyhow, so this is this month's birch box, um, and I will show you guys what is in it. It was not pink this month. The exterior box was a real pretty green color, um, and I wish I had saved it to show you guys, but I already threw it away. Um, but the same little card um, as usual. This one has little cherry blossoms on it, which are really, really cute. And then this is what came inside. The first thing is the Juice Beauty green apple peel which looks like this and it's a good sized sample um, green apple peel for your face doesn't really have a smell or anything um, but that's pretty cool uh, and then the live green eau de parfum it's a sample perfume looks like that it's called live green um, eco-friendly perfume and I will Open that up if I can get the top off. It was really good. It's very fresh. Like you can smell it right here. Smell it. <laughs> How weird was that? Um, it's what it looks like. It's a pretty generous amount of perfume. It smells really good, really clean. Um, it's got jasmine, sandalwood, and... It's made out of biodegradable and sustainable ingredients, which is pretty cool. So there's that pretty neat sample. I like little perfume samples because um, I like to keep them for when I need, like, you know, something. Uh, especially, like, in my makeup bag when I need something that smells good. Um, I always have a little vial of something at the bottom of there, and that it's just, you know, carry it with me. It's small. Um, the Next thing is the Waleda Wild Rose Smoothing Facial Lotion. This is pretty cool because the Waleda, I thought they only did hair products, um, but apparently they do lots more than hair products. And this is a Wild Rose Smoothing Facial Lotion, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm excited to use that. There's the sample right there. It's five milliliters, which is pretty decent. And it comes totally sealed up. You have to use, you know, the cap to open the um, seal on that. So that's neat. I think I might actually take this with me um, to the hospital <laughs> so that I have a facial lotion there. Um, and I don't have to lug around my big one. So there's that. Next up is the Zoya Nail Polish in Caitlin. This, I think, is like most prized product of this month. Um, everybody's Birchbox haul so far that I have watched has been so excited um, about their Zoya Nail Polish. Now, I do not have any Zoya Nail Polishes. Um, I've never tried the brand. Um, honestly, I've never seen them for sale anywhere, so I would never have picked one up because of that. Um, but this is my sample. Now I do know that several um, other people have gotten other shades. This one is called Caitlin. Caitlin, yes. And it's like a soft, like a gray purple. That's what it looks like. It's a very pretty color. Um, and it's from their, I think their spring collection. It's called Caitlin. It's purple, honey. Um, I'm guessing it's their spring collection. But it came with this neat, I know, honey. It came with this neat little pack it and this portion of it is really cool because it gives you information on the line um, as well as like this is their new color fashion it's called intimate that collection and here's the Caitlin right there now these two colors I think are absolutely gorgeous um, I will show it to you in a minute 
But in here, no honey, don't grab that. Okay, in here it's got like every shade that they make, which is really, really neat. So it's got all the pinks and nudes and creams, and then all the bright, you know, purples and fuchsias, and then all the reds and burgundies. Really neat. I've never seen a nail polish line do something like this, and that's really, really cool because you know exactly what shades you might like and the names of them. Um, here's all the blues. I didn't realize that Zoya had such a huge range of nail polish. Um, I honestly just, you know, figured they were a small company, but this, you know, it's pretty neat. There's the yellows, a lot of, you know, navies and purples, as well as their um, base coat, top coat, um, ridge filler, nail polish remover, you know, it gives you information on everything. And that, this is pretty neat because what I like about their um, base coat and top coats is they are so simple. A lot of nail polish companies will have base coats and have like four different base coats or three different top coats or, you know, three ridge fillers. And I mean, you don't really need that many to choose from. You know, a base coat is a base coat, a top coat is a top coat. They're both supposed to do the same job, you know, the same job regardless of which top coat it is or which base co coat it is. So to me, simplifying it and just having one base coat, one top coat that do what you would expect a base coat and a top coat to do is pretty neat. Um, so that's cool. I like that, you know, they have that. I do wish they were available um, in, you know, a store where you could pick them up um, quickly. Um, but I think they're only available online and in certain boutiques for now. So hopefully they will grow into mass market. Um, but then the other thing that I thought was neat is that Intimate Collection, they did this little, they sent this little kind of sampler and you can, you know, see what it would look like on your fingernail, which I think is really cool. And that's the Caitlin, that's the one that I got. I have seen somebody else get this one, which is called Jules, which is a very pretty color. Um, and I am really loving this gray shade, which is called Dove, as well as this purple shade called Marley. I think they're so pretty um, for the spring, because, you know, most of the time, spring, you think of pastel, um, but more vibrant, you know, pastel colors. And these are pastel, but they're very, they're so pretty. I mean, I really do like those. I don't care too much for this one. It's called Gemma, or Gemma, as well as this purple one called... Danny, they are very pretty, but I just don't like them um, for myself. But I think these three are so gorgeous. So I'm excited about this purple gray. I think it's very pretty. Here, honey, you want this? Okay, I got Here. Okay, and then the last two items um, I think are really neat. This was just an extra that came with the box. It is Juices Beauty Stem Cellular Repair Eye Cream or Repair Eye Treatment. It's just a small sample, which is neat. Um, but I do, I really do like having little samples like this around because I don't pay too much attention to my skin. You know, it's not, I don't have like a skin routine that I go through every night where I put on five creams and wash my face with six different things and, you know, exfoliate and all this stuff and then wake up in the morning and do, you know, four more creams for my face and, you know, I don't have that kind of a system with my face, my skin. I wash it at night and get the makeup off. Um, I wash it twice at night, get the makeup off. I will exfoliate it every other night um, with a buff puff in the shower and a thicker like um, exfoliating scrub I will use once a week also when I'm not buff puffing my face. That's it. That is the extent of how I cleanse my skin. I apply a moisturizer every morning and that's that. I mean that is it for me. No, sweetheart, because you will open it. Oh, I um, like, I yes, like. you will, honey. So, I like having little, you know, tr trial samples or vials of things around, uh, because every now and then if I feel like, okay, my eye needs a little extra attention, I've always got a little packet of some kind of eye cream or, you know, something that I can use there. Um, if I feel like, you know, oh, I need something up here, I have a little vial of something that I can use there. Um, so, I, you know, I don't go out and buy full-size products of all these things and have this well-established facial routine. Um, but it may be because I am still pretty young. Um, I, maybe as I get older, I will find the need for an established facial routine. But anyhow, so I like having little samples like that for that reason. Um, this is the last thing. It is called Lumen Seed Paper. 
um, so it's a little piece of paper, and it says, plant me, I turn into wildflowers, XOXO birch box, which is so cool. Um, Bloomin's handmade seed paper is eco-friendly chic. We love their stylish cards, and now that we've they've added Bloomin Wedding, we know where to send all our altar-bound friends. Check them out at bloomin.com. That's what it says, and you can see the little seeds in there. Um, so this is cool. I think I'm going to let um, my daughter, Eva, I'm going to let her plant that, um, and hopefully she can learn about flowers and how they grow, you know? So we'll plant it in a little pot outside and um, I'll make it a habit to water and everything and she can watch the flowers come up and they're wildflowers, so that's pretty cool. So that's a neat little thing, um, especially for Earth Day coming up. So that's this month's Birch Box. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, I know I'm probably being impatient and just, yeah, a impatient pregnant woman. Um, complaining about getting her birch box really really late but I really was disappointed <laughs> um, so hopefully next month it'll come earlier um, so talk to you guys later bye bye